Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the R packages. So within this R Studio window, if you look at the right, right hand side on this uh, second section, you will see this tab called packages and within this you have a lot of different packages available to you. So packages are basically a collection of code which is uh, put together to perform a specific task. So here in this example we have package called cluster and a description is available at finding groups in data cluster analysis. Similarly you have for, uh, formula for I'm sorry the packages for uh, ggplot2. So this package is basically a, a graphics related package where you can design stunning graphics. So from this explanation you can understand that uh, a package done a very specific task in which you are interested. Things like clustering, doing graphics or advanced graphics or you want to have some kind of grid to, exp to show the data. So these are the packages uh, which is available to you and uh, there are some default packages which comes by default when you install the R and R Studio and uh, according to your own requirement you have the option by which you can install the packages which has been developed by other folks so there are thousands of packages out there uh, which have been developed based on uh, the specific requirement that have been faced at that time so it is advisable that whenever you are looking for some kind of a solution and if it is not readily available within this R studio or our environment then uh, it is suggested that you should go out and look for a relevant package by either searching on Google or on rseek.org or looking at the R project. So let's quickly go to uh, this website or this link within this R project uh, website which has a list of packages. So you can see this link https cran.r-project.org forward slash web forward slash packages forward slash available underscore packages underscore by underscore name dot html so this link has all of these different packages which is available to you for installation and uh, you can drill down or i'm sorry you can scroll down or you can click on the relevant link like o oh, and it will put you over there the packages which is starting with O. So in that case, OA colors, which means open analytics color package. So these this is package, or these are all the different packages which is available to you. Uh, you can install it directly uh, from the command prompt by uh, writing this command install dot package packages. And then you can choose it if you know already within the double quotation you can give the name any package name uh, which is uh, as per your requirement or you can come here look at or search the your relevant package so let's say in this case suppose we want to install OA colors so I will just go here OA colors I'll just make sure that my name is correct OA colors I will say OA colors and I will hit enter. So important thing is your uh, uh, internet should be on in this case because it will going to establish a connection with the uh, with the uh, website and it will gonna download and install the install the packages according to our requirement. So here in this case uh, my downloaded package has been given into my system and uh, I am now uh, I will now be able to use my, my package now after installing uh, the package if I want to use it then I will have to use the command library and I would say color OA colors which is now available to me I will hit enter so it will give me some error uh, in this case uh, because of our color brewer is not there which is its supporting package so it is uh, also indicated over here when it is it has given the installation warning 
and the warning was that it was unable to move some in temporary installation from my one folder to another folder that means within the library so in this that's why my uh, package I cannot see so if I want I can go at this location and uh, manually move the color prayer package from one folder to the required folder which is win library location so I will not gonna do it now uh, but it is just for the demonstration or just to tell you that if error comes then how you can do it apart from this uh, if this is not working sometimes it may happen that uh, proper files are not available at this location then you can go ahead and again run the command install.packages and put this our color brewer our color brewer and hit enter once you enter it it will gonna start looking at the location and then it has successfully installed and is it has put at the right location now if I want to run the command uh, where I want to use library OA colors so I have just used the uh, up key from my mouse from my keyboard and it has given me the previously executed command and now my OA colors is currently in use because this supporting package is installed correctly and how I can make sure that OA colors is in use by looking at this right side window where if I go to OA colors location you can see it is checked so that's another way if I want to use say for example ply R then I can check this and this package is now available to me so either you can check over here and start using the package or you can use the command library library and enter the libraries so spelling mistake and then enter the package name or the library name for the one which you need after this uh, if you want to know what are the default packages available uh, for you when you have uh, installed the uh, R or R Studio? Then you can use the search command and enter. So this is basically giving you uh, all the available packages uh, which is currently loaded in your uh, in your uh, in your environment. After this. Uh, if you want to know all the installed packages irrespective of whether they are here in the R environment or not then you can run the command installed dot packages hit enter and it has given me the whole big list of all the different uh, packages which is installed here in my system so after this uh, if, I, if you want to remove anything let's say you want to remove package then remove dot packages command you can run and you can enter the package name so something like OA colors OA colors if I want to remove this I can enter and hit enter so for now I will just refrain myself for not uh, from hitting the enter and uh, keep ahead with OA colors but if you want to remove any of the package if that is not necessary and unnecessarily using your space then you can remove that so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video about uh, uh, packages operations within the r i hope you have found this video useful and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic